and look, there's actually Shavat. Oh, wow. So if you want to go back to Shavat, you can. And the cool part is, is that if you actually stay on this map long enough, Shavat will move. So oh, nice. you have to keep track of it. So but is here... so is Solaris kind of like endgame territory, or is there still a ton more after that? Well, Solaris is the end of disc one. Right. So there's there's unfortunately a little bit more after that. Right. So let me let me put it this way. Solaris is going to have Solaris is going to have events there that we're gonna need to go through, and then disc one happens. Then we go through a bunch of events after that, <clears throat> and then we're in endgame, basically. Okay. Like I said, disc two is not that long. In fact, like like I've said a couple of times in parts. A lot of assets that were in disc one should have been moved to disc two. And they were not. So even after Solaris, like if you're if you're thinking that disc two is gonna last as long as one, it's not. Right. It is maybe about 25% as long as as disc one. So for all the people who are screaming like this is gonna go over 200 parts, no it's not. It's not, but we're gonna have a lot of story in the next little bit. Oh, hi, Captain. Let's go ahead and meet up with the Captain. Oh, what's wrong? What do you need? Point X1507 Z1235. Hans, does that sound familiar to you? It's Sir... It's a Sargasso Point. So, what? The Sargasso? Sargasso? What's that? Oh, it's a cave formed from microbes over many years. It's supposed to have hidden treasure. But no one's ever returned from there. The story is that the cave itself is alive. Are you going to the Sargasso? Looks like it. Your gears can't dive that deep. If they did, you would not be able to move. Equip your underwater gear here. Then take your ship as far as you can and dive in with your gear. I'll go wake those winos up right now. Really? It's okay with you? Thanks. You're always helping us out, Captain. Don't mention it. We are, after all, men of the sea. <laughs> it looks like they're done. That was fast. Of course, we're... Men of the sea, right? See? <laughs> You're getting it. <laughs> Blimey, I think he's got it. Take care, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you how to operate them underwater. It's easy. You can jump in water without your feet touching the ground. Keep jumping to build up speed. You can swim pretty well in a gear, but there may be places you can't get past if you don't do it well. Got it. Thanks. No need for thanks. Maybe you can buy something from our gear shop. Looks like there may be some new booty to sell. So there's your indicator that, yeah, go and go and check out the gear shop because this is going to be important. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go ahead and make our way to the supply entrance. Yeah, supply entrance. I'm dizzy. We've been riding in a screw elevator. <laughs> okay, so here's our guy. Oh, a customer. We've got a lot of brand new parts. I'm sure you do. So let's go ahead and tune up our gears. 5,400. That's not bad. Frame, 14,800. So another 2,400 onto it. And RX Metal 50, so no armor. So let's go ahead and do that. And tune up Vierge. Boom. 14,300. Not bad. There we go. Heimdall. 5,400 and 13,000. No, so that's not an improvement. So we lucked out. We don't have to buy too much. Store the fuel. Anvari. So, chosen equipment has abilities less or equal to current. Yes, we're going to change anyway because we want the bigger fuel pool. So, 54 and Brigadier 15,000. So, yeah, we don't want that because we have 18,000. We literally reversed that. Nice. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep that. RX Metal 60. So, no. Then, Renmazuo. 5,400. 14,200. People are getting so frustrated with me right now for quoting numbers. Sorry. <laughs> and Steer, 5,400. 
16,500 HP for Steer. And thankfully, that's it, I think. Oh, save Zen. Uh, 6,600, that's not an improvement. And no, 18,000. She's good. Yeah, that's still better. That's it. Awesome. Yay, we're all nice and upgraded. Welcome again. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this because we're ready to go. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. It's uh, it's time for the third gate. After the third gate, we will unlock Solaris. Awesome. You're just happy we're really close to the end of disc one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I am enjoying the game, though. Yeah. It well, here's the thing. I'm actually really looking forward to getting to disc two because, yeah, there's going to be a lot of references you're going to get. So I'm, I'm happy about it just as much as you are. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm not going to save just yet because we're going to change the party around a little bit. As much as we love you, Saiten, well, we got to go with Save Zen. <laughs> save Zen is awesome right now off offensively, and I know what we're walking into. She's also very beefy. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. I said it. Save Zen's very beefy. What did you think I was talking about, Maria? <laughs> well, I guess Maria's kind of beefy too, but oh well feel kind of out of it, but the important stuff is about to begin, right? Yeah, we all feel kind of out of it. Don't Change worry about it, Margie. Members. Yeah. But thankfully, she she recovered from her bullet wound. That's yeah, great. That's good. <clears throat> okay, we're going to sub out Saiten for Maria. And boom. And technically, you can talk to Primera a little bit as well uh, if people forgot about Billy's sister. She doesn't say much, though. <laughs> All right, so back up to the bridge we go. Three, third gate. Are, are you getting excited at least for Solaris? Yeah. To see what's going to happen there? Okay, good. Hopefully you guys at home are also getting excited. I know, it's been, it's been a long, hard road. Trust me, I did this road before you guys. Yeah. And I was a teenager, an, an impatient teenager when I did it. I'm, so yeah. that ought to tell you something. I'm amazed you got through this. Because you are pretty ADD. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can kind of be surprised, but do you, you know what kept me in here, right? Yeah. Giant robots. That's what kept me. Ready to go to Sagrasso? Sure. Sure. Let's do that. So this is just going to launch us right into the Sargasso area. And Sargasso is kind of a point of no return thing. You can go back to the gate, if, gate K's if you want, I think. But this one, no, because it's so deep. So we also got to make sure that we grab chests and whatnot, because we won't get be able to go back. <clears throat> Here we go, though. We're super deep. Sure, we can make a joke about that. <laughs> Whee! So this is what he, the captain was talking about. You jump, you get a boost of speed. Cool. Whee! Okay, so we have forks in the roads. So we gotta make sure. <laughs> and random and encounters. And of course, random encounters. This looks like a dungeon, but it really isn't. Can I escape? Yes, thank Yay. you. Okay. We just gotta make sure that we pick the right ones. Yeah. I think left is first, so... Fork in the road. Whee! Okay, next cave. Oh. Nope, never mind, it wasn't. Dead end. Damn it! Random encounters and dead ends. Oh, hey, look, it's jelly bean. Uh, it's Je jelly beans, it's Medusoids. <laughs> jelly beans. Jellyfish. Escape. Crap. Thank Ooh. you. Really don't want to use fuel on these guys. I know what I'm walking into. 
people have already taken that as the default. Oh, are we walking into a crappy situation? I know. <laughs> we might, yeah. Well, definitely tells me we're get, we got a pretty tough boss coming up. Yeah, this is where it was. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So don't take this the wrong way. I'm probably going to be running a lot. Salvature. Let's play. Found, Found a, gold a gold nugget. nugget. Nice. Now that's supposed to be incentive for you to kill it. So you uh, get the gold nugget. You have to actually fight it to get the item. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a thief in a Final Fantasy game. If they steal stuff from you, you have to kill them quick. Otherwise, they'll walk away with it. Oh, cool. So. Or like the Yiga guys in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Very, very similar to it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, look. More charging. Charging. Couldn't care less. Charging. Our jellyfish. I want to kill you. Are you kidding me? Come on. Flash. Flash. Oh. Accuracy and evasion down. Flash. Oh, you weren't done being flashed. Oh. Okay. Flash. Oh. See, I was I was going down the dirty road. I was like, I didn't want to see those boobs. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, let's not kid ourselves. We're guys. We'll, we'll see any kind of boobs. <laughs> uh, let's go left this time. I swear if it's right again, I'm going to scream. Nope. I think this is right. There's a current. I don't think we can get through here, can we? Okay. Yep. This is right. Okay. Because this current is pushing us back. Fuck you. Random counters. I don't think we can go right into where the current's coming from, but we need to go to the other area. So we got to make sure that we time it right, and you can't really do that outside of a battle. Crap. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay, go down this way. <laughs> yeah, not, not this time. Thank <laughs> right goodness. At the <laughs> okay. There we go. I think this is it. Nice. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh god. Why? I called it just too soon. <laughs> you did. You jinxed us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Knew we were gonna get some crap like this, but yeah, there you go. Okay. And here we are. So, oh, wait, actually, received the dark, dark rod. rod. Treasure box was empty. Well, that's a tease. Uh oh. I heard a sound somewhere. Actually, it's a switch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I believe the current will not be strong anymore and we can go that direction. Oh, cool. Either that or we're gonna have to do a whole slew of backtracking. Ugh, I'm hit random encounters. Let's see. It's all right, we'll, we'll make our way here. Escape, escape, escape. So I'm running solo for just a second because we're totally ignoring the fact that Alex is going to the bathroom which would be totally warranted right now. There we go, yep. So now no current. We can go through this kelp. So this is kind of what the captain was talking about, is like it's a living cave. It's full of microbes and... Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, so... Go up here, and this is going to open up the next area. Yay, so there's a door. I wonder where that door goes. Death Blower 2. So now, uh, people might remember a while back we got the Death Blower 1. Now we have Death Blower 2. That allows level 2 death blows for any gear. 
uh, if they have it on. So that's cool. We got a death blower too. But now we have this door. So let's go ahead and go in the door. Are you ready, Alex? I'm so ready. It looks like a gate cave door. So at least that's a good sign. Yep, here it is. Is this the third gate? Oh. Who are you? I will kill you. How do you do? I am Rattan, one of the followers of Krelin. Please excuse me, I'd like to show you my face, but as a result of the human-machine fusion... I knew it wasn't Ramses. So basically what they're saying, this gear is also a byproduct of Octzen and Sabzen, the research that Nikolai did. Ah, uh, interesting. Yes, that gear is an evolved version of Sebzen and Oxen. Our current task is totally about inspection of the evidence. It'll ruin everything if someone was as dead to the world as he appeared here. A person who's calm and cool like myself would be perfect for the job. Oh, but don't worry. I'll just be inspecting here. Emeralda here will take care of you. Kill. You. So our next encounter is with the gear known as Crescens. And it's pretty powerful, if you guys can tell right off the bat. So we're gonna booster this, just cause we don't wanna take chances. She may not look much, but, or look like much, but she's, she packs a wall up. This is the usual Final Fantasy-esque boss, where they look very small. They do a lot of damage. Ha! 1500. Even our meat shield got a pounder. And she's got an, a crazy evasion. So we got to deal with that now, too. Ouch. Okay. Nope. That didn't work. Oh. Oh, oh boy. That, that looked like it hurt. 2100. 600. Okay, we at least got some damage. Nope, evaded. Okay, well. Nope, nothing. Yeah, we're probably gonna wanna use the infinity mode. Infinity mode! Yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing for it. Smack. Okay, well that's not bad. Ryubu! 2500, that's okay. not bad. Okay, so... We're not gonna use his death blows. We're gonna keep going until we hit infinity. The iron break. Big break, boom! Forty-four hundred. Before people ask, you can technically do this just using level three. I wouldn't recommend it because Crescens can get some pretty big hits in. Ow, sixteen hundred, just from her finger. All with my finger. I want to say she gave you the finger poke of doom, but sadly WCW did that. Never mind. <laughs> Dang it, just so much evasion. Ah! Oh, this looks like it's gonna be painful. Yeah. It's involving all of us. Prime and Netly, man. Ah. Ooh. Oh, we didn't even see the damage. That's how much it did, guys. Okay, no, that's not working. 400. Okay. Save Zen. Miss. Okay. 
Jeez, 1500. Ouchies. Okay. Just gonna do this. Basic attacks at least are doing something. Ryubu! Got another 2500 on her. Here's hoping she doesn't have a restore. That might suck. Okay. Nope. And another spell. Oh boy, this does not look good. Here's hoping that they can make the Kessel run in 12 parsecs. <laughs> <sighs> ah, freaking lightning beams! Lightning, 2100 each. Ouch. Well, let's go ahead and fix frame for Fre for Faye. Okay. Crap. Need to get him to infinity. He'll do tons of damage at that point. Iron break! Iron break. Oh! She's weak! This might do it. 4,300. We do it. It did it. Yes. Nice. We beat Crescens. 84,000. Level up, All level three up. leveled up. Almost makes you wish that the other party members were getting that kind of experience. Yes. Get him. Ah, I... I see, Reckless. Now that, you should view it as a release of memory, or maybe a recording. It turns out just as Krillian said, it is a manifestation of the imprinting. At any rate, it is proven. With that, excuse me, I must report the results. Oh yes, go ahead and take the girl. Use her any way you like. After all, she is your daughter. What? What? Ah! I can't do a girl's voice. <laughs> it's okay, I can't either. No, it's it's all right. Oh. And apparently there was enough of a of a shock afterwards that it destroyed the gate. Yeah, I would not be right here when an explosion's about to happen, Yggdrasil. Well, it already happened. That we, that we guessed. There might be another one. Ooh. Ah, Ooh. here's a new Ooh. character. Kim, 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 Let's see. What the hell is it saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Faye? You mean he resembles someone you know? What do you mean by resemble? Kim is Kim! Kim? The person resembling Faye, right? Who is he? Is he the one who created you? What do you mean by creating me? Kim is Kim! Don't you see? <laughs> Kim, 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 you're really here. I thought I was dreaming. The person in my dream. Yes, Kim, I was dreaming. A long, long dream. Sounds like you resemble him. Someone important to her. Probably the person who created her. Huh? <clears throat> Bring people up to speed. You might remember when we went to um the ruins of... Crap, it's not coming to me. Um... Ruins where we fought Id. Mm -hmm. um, that ancient civilization, when we got to the end of it, remember what we saw at the end of it was a girl. Mm -hmm. This is the girl. Ah. So, uh, oh crap. Well, um, that's going to bother me now. But So here we go. Hey, you. My name is Faye, not Kim. Now I know Faye's Kim. Listen, listen, I was dreaming a long, long dream. 
Kim is fine. <laughs> I think it's more like Kim is fine. <laughs> uh -huh. Kim means more than just a name. More like father. Father? No, 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 no. I, I mean it has general meaning. 